What's going down, everybody? It's your boy again, too. Back on the Fight Team video. It is a brand new motherfucking year. <laughs> okay? It is Wednesday. It is the 1st of 2020. Okay? Let's get it cracking, you guys. Okay? By the end of the week, uh, I'm sorry. By the beginning of next week, I'm going to have my mixture, uh, my mixture stuff up there. So you guys can look at my mixture, my streaming. I stream pretty much every day. Uh, so if you don't catch the live stream, at least catch it. Uh, oh, excuse me. Okay. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start having me like a coffee pot next to me and just be drinking coffee. I'm going to have my mixture stuff set up for you guys, okay? I stream every day. If you didn't see the stream, go back to your watch stream. Uh, it gets pretty funny, man. I'll be on PUBG, Call of Duty. I'm on Madden sometimes, you guys. You guys, come on there and click on that for me, man. Also, my son is doing his own gaming channel on YouTube. I'm not a Fortnite dude, don't play Fortnite, but um, trying to help him out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he likes to stream, he likes when his dad does all the videos, so I do all these videos and stuff he likes, so let's get it cracking. Like I said, 2020, 20,000 subs, we're going to do it this year, let's get going guys, okay, so we're going to start the new year like this. I did not know that Melvin Gillard had decided to go bare knuckle fight championship, okay, uh, I know Chris Lieben did it. I thought that was a good move for Chris Lieben because the way his fighting style is, I thought that was a good move for Chris Lieben. Anyway, Melvin Gillard, he, the dude's got power in his hands. Great power, but I want to see this fight. I guess it's nine minutes, so I guess we're going to watch the walk-ins and all that. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. In the three, two, one, let's go. And while the big one that stands out right there is... Uh... Bare knuckle experience, but Melvin's had nine fights compared to two. That's a huge advantage to Melvin. Back we go to Jeff Gensley. Ladies and gentlemen, our next five. He's only had nine fights, so. See, that's another thing I'm doing this year. I'm doing a lot of bare knuckle. I'm going to be watching a lot of bare knuckle this year. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight he wears black trimmed in gray. His official weight, 167.5 pounds. He is an MMA veteran of 24 professional fights and is undefeated as a bare knuckle professional at 2 0. Here is the UFC veteran fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears red, trimmed in white and gray. His official weight, 173.6 pounds. He is a longtime MMA veteran of 58 professional fights and holds a bare knuckle record of seven victories opposite two defeats. Ladies no, and gentlemen, no, 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 weight, you know? And UFC veteran fighting out of New of the action, Big Dan Mergliata. All right, gentlemen, you want to touch gloves? Do it now. Hold the line. Hands up, ready? Buckle up. Round number one, and this has all of the ingredients to be a really fun fight. Red trunks for Melvin Gillard, black trunks for Isaac Valley Flag. Now here's the weird thing about this Ooh. fight right here is even though Melvin Gillard is a few years younger than Valley Flag, he, I think his fight, ex you know, fight experience, he's had a lot more fights. He's been fighting for a lot longer. Swing and a miss with the left hand. Gillard, though, to the surprise of no one, including Valley Flag, Gillard swings very big to start this fight. Into the watch clinch, which is watch exactly inside what shots, Valley Flag wants. Oh, good, oh, good hits, good hits. Watch those ins. Ooh. Valley Flag back to the body. Gillard to the body. Now the half plunk for Isaac Valley Flag. And this is exactly what Valley Flag should be doing right Ooh. there. He's got to take away Ooh. those big punches from Melvin. Dude, I think Melvin got too much power for him. From Isaac Valley Flag. Not legal under the BKFC rule set, but he got away with it. That infighting looked exactly like dirty boxing in MMA. Big right One, hand two. two definitely landed. 50 seconds remaining round number one. And it's high and tight for Valley Flag. 
See the big swings from Gillard, but not landing in that last sequence. Melvin's doing exactly what he wants to do right now. Stand on the outside and land big punches. Yeah, he does. The flag needs to try and he does. Fight inside. Just like he said, grimy. He wants us to be a grimy fight. Yeah. See the look of sheer concentration on the face of Melvin Gillard. You can watch the inside oh, stats, Melvin. With the clinch game, Valley Flag feels this is where he can win the fight. But Gillard punching his way out effectively, Ooh. finding range. 15 seconds now remaining round number one. See the confidence of Gillard. Hands down, chest wide open, trying to bait Valley Flag in. That's what comes from that years of sparring right there. Ooh, like ooh. Alpha, you can tell. Ooh, this shot though, I don't, I don't like, I don't like Melvin in the clinch like that one. Round number two. See round number two. See the head movement from Valley Flag. Ooh. 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 Good right hand on the I don't like him in the clinch Valley like that. Melvin's gonna get, you know what? Dude's good in that clinch. So confident knockout power in both hands shooting the jab is Melvin Gillard we counter Can't get his jab through we counter swinging a miss with the left hook and here's what's going on with Melvin he's trying to counter punch right now yeah the flag is being the first and if he get off first in this sport you're gonna win more often than not so Melvin Gillard needs to work on getting off first Gillard circling out with his hands low now resets there it is once again, Valley Flag coming off first. Slowly you see here in round two, Valley Flag trying to walk down Gillard. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Trying to make this an uh -oh. inside. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Took Gillard off his striking line. Better round for Isaac Valley Flag here in round two. Yeah, clinch, he's dangerous in that clinch. Right no one tries to back up, he tries to capitalize off the clinch. Looks like it might be working right now. Flag trying to pair that jab. Ooh. Shooting the jab big right hand. To the body from Isaac Valley Flag. 35 seconds remaining round two. To the clinch. See the underhook. Gillard looking to turn. Half He's dangerous in that clinch, bro. Hey, that guy, that guy is dangerous in that clinch. Snap jab from Melvin Gillard. We need to stay back. Yep. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. I will throw two jabs at him. You know, usually as a fighter. See? The last thing usually goes on somebody That's else. That's what the other guy's doing. See, I would have threw two jabs at him. Uppercuts from the half plum. And then a counter left hand as Gillard was setting back Ooh. against the ropes. That is the end of round two. Long time friends. Long time training partners. Long time teammates. Both said this will be all business. Nothing personal. All business. Yeah. It's looked all business thus far through the opening two rounds. It's round number three. And unfortunately, that is a thing that happens with true fighters. You have to fight your friends sometimes. The reality, though, is when you're a professional fighter, you beat up your friends and you get beat up by your friends every day in the gym. Absolutely. You might as well get paid for it, right? I'd like to see Melvin throw some more feints. That's what he needs to do. Throw some feints to get Valley Flag coming forward so we can counter land a big. I think he should, he should, he should throw a couple more jabs out there. Gillard's right eye. Flag again, walking. Good head movement. Punches. Good head movement. Double underhooks. That's allowed. Hand is free from Valley Flag. This is the underhook held by Gillard almost defensively. I like you. Really, you got, got that clinch, man. Valley Flag, Chris, punching just before the break ordered by Morgan Liotta. Especially with no gloves, you can really dig with those body punches right yeah. there. It feels like you're being stabbed by a knife. But still sitting back, trying to shoot the jab, loading up the two, the right hand. Double one, I think Melvin, he, 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 I don't like him in that clinch, man. He's like working him in that clinch. He's not going to stop him. He's not going to stop him. That's legal right here. Almost a head chance reposition held. And again, absolutely legal because one hand was free and active for Valley Flag as he was throwing big to the rib cage. Yeah. 30 seconds remaining round three. Melvin really needs to come with some things right now. He needs to get Valley Flag to commit to something where he can land a big counter punch. There's that snap jab from Gillard, but didn't get through that high, tight striking guard of Isaac Valley Flag. Yeah. And Valley Flag to the inside. See that swelling under Gillard's right eye. Closing seconds, round number three. Nothing decided yet in the super middleweight division between Melvin Gillard and Isaac Valley Flag. 
fights longer, ladies and gentlemen. Dan Bergliani will yep. stop the fight. I don't know if Gillard quit on his stool or if this is an injury. He was in a lot of punches in the body that clinched. He couldn't that. Yeah, you look bad. You, you know, dude was better in the clinch than no. He was working that clinch. You knew how to work. I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if Gillard retired or if his corner stopped it. Gillard says something to Stitch Duran, who gets the attention of Mergliana. So it's Gillard who won it out of this fight. Yeah, Stitch isn't stopping it if you're not cutting, you're not damaged to the point where you can't defend yourself. Gillard said to Stitch Duran something to the effect of I'm done or I won out, and Duran then turned to Mergliata. So that is the end of the fight. That could be it. Like Maybe he didn't want to fight. Like you so said, they're friends. They've uh, now and in BKFC. trained together, sparred together, you know. Let's get the official decision, man. Come on, Dan. Ladies and gentlemen, due to an unexpected hand injury, this fight has come to an end at round number three. For your winner, by TKO Iron, Ike Valley Flag. What do you guys have, man? I, he said an unexpected hand injury. I think it was because... Um, that was his buddy, and I don't think he wanted to fight him like that anymore. Plus, I mean, plus he was Melvin was getting kind of worked in the in the clinch. I didn't know that Melvin was doing uh, bare knuckle fighting. That's something new to me. Like I said, I'm on this shit this year, man. Okay, look. Without that being said, I gave you guys the updates of what's going on. Uh, hopefully, my co-host will be here next week for his videos. Uh, so let's get this thing cracking, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Tell your friends. Get all notifications. 2020. 20,000 subs. Peace player. I'm gone.